So I'm here with Marcus Kane, member of the uh, Spokane Sasquatches, and and uh, Marcus, here we are at the NWAC tournament, and you got to pitch last night. Um, tell me a little bit of your experience so far in the tournament, and you know, last night you had a little bit of a, a rough outing, but what's your overall experience and kind of a uh, feel for the tournament? Um, it's a lot different than just the regular season games, where it's kind of laid back and chill, and it's a great atmosphere here with a nice ballpark and good teams and good competition, so it's just like like classic playoff vibes where it's just intense and yeah yeah, yeah. it's all fun though yeah definitely it is a lot of fun out here and you know and you guys have made it here you had a long season you gotta fight your way all the way through what's been the success in, in your opinion for both you and for the team to make it this far um i would say that um as a starting pitcher like after uh i get done i could rely on my bullpen to finish it mm -hmm. and offensively like we have some power in our lineup for sure so a lot of guys can just change the game with one swing of the bat and yeah that. Yeah, it's always nice when you have a, an offense you know can score runs for you if you yeah. you know make a mistake. So, um, you know, here we are. You, you know, your team's done a good job, pushed this far. But for you personally, kind of going through the years in your career, what has kind of pushed you and inspired you to, to make it to this far and and to uh, be the player you are? Um, well, I'm competitive, so I just like winning and playing at the best of my ability. And as a team, just winning's fun in general. So. <laughs> And I would say, like, ever since I was a child, my dad also has been a big supporter, and he's coached me a lot, so he inspired me to be the best that I can be. And, yeah, basically it's that. Awesome, awesome. It's always good to have that, that encouragement behind you to keep you going. So, and also growing up, you know, a lot of kids will, will look at different teams or different players in Major League Baseball and kind of mimic their style or their personality. Is there a player that you kind of looked at and said, hey, you know what, I, I don't necessarily want to – copy what they're doing but kind of you know use them as an example um yeah there's been a couple maybe like i'm a left-handed pitcher so i always like kind of watching the lefties pitch and um i'm uh, mostly a fastball slider guy so i like watching like guys like Andrew miller recently he's, yeah he's got that good combo and like a role of chapman of course he's fun lefty to watch just those guys yeah i actually had to watch him in spring training the first year he came over to play and he throws pretty hard so mm -hmm. um you know also kind of looking at being a starter, you have to be in a certain routine. You know, you, you start practicing at certain times, warming up, certain things like that. Is there routine or even superstitions that you kind of have as an individual that you follow from game to game? Yeah, I would say I'm more superstitious than most people. Like, um, I have to like stretch certain ways when I'm starting, and like for a certain amount of time for each stretch. And um, before every start, I have these uh, certain kinds of gummy bears that I have. Like, I have one every inning or so. And um, uh, my parents, I still live at home right now, so my parents um, make me like a home cooked meal that I want before every start. And yeah, it's like stuff like that. Just... Hey, anything to get a home cooked meal, that's always a nice deal oh, right there. So, if it's a wing at home. <laughs> and then, you know, one last question I have for you. You know, you're here at the college level and um, a lot of college guys around, but there's also a lot of kids who come and watch games like this. And what advice do you have for them as they try and uh, make it to the level you're at? Um, I would say just. Um, don't get down on yourself when you have the rough days because um, you know what you can be capable of with success. Like, and um, uh, rely on your teammates because they'll have your back and believe in yourself. Much that. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.